Hello Flappy Catters! Today we're doing a riveting video on how to clean the Litter Robot Open Air. There is a manufacturer's version of the video and I'll include a link in the about section below so Litter Robot put together a video. But I worked for a manufacturer and I know that sometimes consumers are like, really? Is it that easy? So today you're going to witness my first time cleaning the Litter Robots. Charlie, you ready? Alright, here we go. The first step when cleaning your litter robot is to make sure that you empty the litter outside of the globe. And you're gonna have to bear with me on not knowing all the terminology about this. So in order to do that, we're just going to press empty on the settings and we'll wait for it to rotate. So it all empties down below into the drawer and you guys can see that it needs a little cleaning. It's got a little fecal matter, matter right there. After it's finished emptying out and all of the litter is down in the drawer below, you simply want to power it off to save any settings that you might have stored in the box. And then it is safe to empty. Now I'm going to empty the litter and then take the unit outside to wash the inside of the dome and kind of show you how to take it apart. The uh, important thing is not to haul it around with a bunch of litter in it because, you know, if you tripped and f fell, you'd have litter all over the place. And obviously it's less weight um, to empty the litter out of it first. Okay, so the litter robot is actually pretty lightweight and I'm not sure about how much it weighs, but um, it's just awkward. So there are actually these two little handles on the side that make it very easy to lift up and without litter in it, it's super easy to pick up. So we already emptied the litter inside, turned off the power and have a little bit of litter um, left to go. And now we just wanna take out the drawer Okay, so the only pl only thing that we can actually clean clean um, is this globe part. So we have to detach it from the base, and I think this is called the bonnet. So these just, you push in and then pull that off. And, it, and the reason why you can't get this wet is it has electronics in it. And then the globe just lifts off of the base. As far as the drawer is concerned, this piece lifts out so you can take it to the sink and rinse it out and wash it off if you want. Um, and then the carbon filter you can pull out of here Whoa. and replace it if it needs to be replaced. Uh, I'm not really sure what deems whether or not it needs to be replaced. I would guess if it starts smelling, um, not the carbon filter, but if you can smell the cat urine and feces and then it probably needs to be cleaned. This can be all wiped out or vacuumed out. This all just came off the carbon filter. The globe, as you can see, there's some uh, fecal matter left and a little bit of litter. So I'm gonna just wipe that down with um, a damp cloth. Litter Robot recommends not using bleach. I don't really use bleach in my house anyway. Um, so I'm just going to use like a tablespoon of vinegar with about four cups of hot water um, and wipe it down. You can also take this to self-serve car wash or use your hose outside to clean it off. Okay, so this towel just has um, vinegar water on it. So I'm just wiping it down. It's, I wrung it out several times um, and just getting all these little spots. There's a little bit of fecal matter there that you know as this is where it drop where it drops down in so you just want to make sure that you get all that off on both sides there are also some electronic sensors down here that you make want to make sure that you um, wipe off because if they're blocked for some reason then it can't operate properly the other things that litter robot recommends you do or have is a brush to brush off anything from the, the rubber area that might have gotten stuck just to loosen it off and then you can shake it out uh, before you wipe it down or hose it down. All right, so I'm gonna spray it down like Litter Robot says you can. Here we go, folks. So I have to put 
put together, or put the drawer back in and, and clean that all out and I sprayed this. So this, I can't remember, it's called a shield. It's operated by this black thing back here. And that was one of the most difficult things I had a problem with when I was first uh, learning how to navigate this thing. You know, the way to put it back in is you know that this part is where they step in. So you just want to line it correctly there. And then that black thing that I just showed you on the back, you just want to make sure that it's, it aligns the shield on the inside there. And when it's aligned, the black thing will fit in here. And I'm sure that that is the official term um, that litter robot uses the black thing. And then you put the bonnet on top. On the bonnet, it has these two little things. So you have to actually align those first and have them drop in. And then you can push it down to, to lock it in. And there we have it, folks. I just need to add litter and plug it back in and turn it on and we are good to go. There's a little bit of residue, um, and there is some scratching left from their claws. Um, and also the up, the other side of the shield had a lot of stuff on it. So when that was off, I'm, I cleaned that. And that's something that Litter Robot didn't talk about. But make sure you get on the reverse side of the shield. Um, I was raised by a perfectionist cleaner, so I tend to look everywhere on that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.